All right. So first things first, it all involves the intake. Um, so there's a couple things here that I found out from research. And apparently, if you take this tube out from the fender, apparently, this is not me. This is what the forums are saying. This is a three horsepower gain, dyno proven. If you take this tube out and you just have the air sucking from here rather than just the constricted tube that goes into the fender. So that's one thing I'm going to do. The second thing I'm going to do is you see how the blow off valve, it's covered in ATF right now because I just did the tranny fluid, which was a pretty easy job. But the transmission shifts perfectly now. It's an automatic and it is, it's, did wonders i did the i did the complete flush so i did the filter and brand new mitsubishi atf i'll show you the atf i don't want to get sidetracked but i do want to show you the proper fluid to use just because i had to do a little digging and it's this stuff here that's what you want to use for automatic dsm transmission fluid for 2g anyway okay so Back to the free mods. So this blow off valve tube goes into the intake as so, which is important because the math is calculating this error. A lot of people run these atmospheric. You don't want to do that because the math already has it calculated. If you have DSM link or whatever, you can eliminate that and have it at, at, uh, atmospheric. But the tube that runs into the intake actually goes down an inch into the tube. So it stops about here. So guys are saying to take that plastic tube out and cut it so it doesn't restrict the airflow to the turbo. So that's the second thing I'm gonna do. The third thing I'm gonna do is right underneath, you can see it here. You can sort of see it on the phone. It's right there, that vacuum solenoid. You can see the two down there. Um, that's the wastegate solenoid and uh, there's a restrictor in there and you take that out and you run a couple more PSI than factory. Um, of course, this is all doing at your own risk. I do not care. Um, like I do care, but I don't because I know I've done the free mods before and they turn out great. The car is a different car, so to speak, way more responsive. You're running a couple more pounds of boost and it is squeezing the absolute most you can out of this engine. So everything I did is pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to go completely in detail with everything. I'm actually just going to post this video um, as is um, just to show you. Do your research, of course. So that's just to recap. Take this out. You always got to take the air box out for that. It's a simple job. You got to take um, the intake off anyway because the tube that goes into the intake you have to cut. So you take this off. There's actually a write-up online how to do this. I totally recommend if you're going to do it, read the write-up. Take the tube out, cut it, that's it. And down there is the solenoid. And what people say is to get a screw, screw it into the restrictor. It's a plastic restrictor. And just wiggle it out. So if need be, it's reversible. And you can reverse the free mod that you just did. So make sure you do that if you decide to take it out. That way you can revert it all. And, um, yeah, I, I plan not to revert it, but of course I'm going to have, um, that Avenue open if need be. So this is a completely bone stock Eagle Talon TSI 2G. And those are the free mods that I am going to perform on my car. I still haven't decided what I want to do tomorrow. I am buying a 2GB Eclipse front bumper and the car actually came with a 2GB rear bumper. So the car is already um, converted almost to an eclipse. So that's pretty cool. Um, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Peace.